Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Simple Aviation YouTube video. Now, um, we're going to be having slightly interesting documentary on our channel today. I'm joined by a special guest called Fred, um, who has asked to be on this video, actually, um, and who provided us with the video idea itself. So thank you very much to Fred for sparing your time and coming on to the channel. So hello, Fred. So today I'm going to be talking about London Ashford Airport. So why I'm doing this is because London Ashford Airport is on the fourth of the island, so I'm going to be talking about away from Ashford, and is closer to France than London, which is quite strange. So um, it's actually Leeds, which is near Folkestone and Dover area um, mm -hmm. near Dimchurch, which is one of my favourite places in the world. Um, it's uh, um, run by a Saudi Arabian um, businessman and um, it was opened in 1954, just after the end of the Second World War. And um, guys, was, um, please don't mistake the name London Ashford Airport for being in London, that's kind of like the point of this documentary, is to like, um, you know, investigate why it's called that um, when it's actually not even in London. So carry on, please do carry on. So um, it was built for Sport for City Airways and, um, it, and within five years of opening it um, was handing over 250,000 passengers annually, making it one of the busiest airports in the UK. Mm -hmm. So um, about, a bit about um, what it's currently used for. Um, as of November 2018, um, it, there are no scheduled services it, um, and is um, not used at all. It, annual passenger traffic went um, really plummeted in, into the, when it went down to 1995. Mm -hmm. um, so, which is quite sad, I guess, but I think they deserve it for um, giving it such a horrible name. Um, so, um, on some accidents in England, on the 15th of May 1958, um, um, a DNOCE of Channel Airways crashed at Dungeness while attempting to land at Ferry Field. It was due to double engine failure caused by mismanagement of the aircraft's fuel system by the pilot. Mm -hmm. um, and in 1978, um, the Skyways cargo airline was damaged beyond economic repair in the takeoff accident. So um, I hope that um, told you a little bit about uh, London Ashford or Leeds Airport. Now I'm going to go on to some um, facts. So the runway is um, 1.505 kilometres long, which is 4,938 feet, and the surface of the runway is proved. Um, actually, I can't, I don't know what that is, but um, anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it was a public airport and um yeah. 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 Thank you, simple aviation Um that's perfectly fine and uh I really appreciate you having the time to come here. So I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this documentary. Thanks to Wikipedia for a lot of these facts. Um I hope you've got a lot of these facts right, but um we will be doing some fact checking after this just to see so that's lid london ashford airport uh for you right now on your screen you will be seeing uh lid's departure area zone um and yeah so thank you once again um obviously uh fred will be a regular feature on our channel obviously um fred has a lot of experience of um london airports i guess so uh, pleased to see that we have a member of the team who has 
a lot of knowledge on that. So that's London Ash for you guys. Um, yeah. Asian teach one eight. Can I just say a special thanks to Wikipedia oh, yeah. because that's where I got all these facts from, and I hope I'm not breaking any copyrights. Absolutely, uh, I don't think we're breaking any copyrights, hopefully. But um, image copyrights are in the description below. If you like this video, please let us know in the comments below. If you want uh, this guest to feature in more videos, please also comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button and comment below and share this video to your friends and family. Thank you once again uh, to Fred. And until then, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Fred. Bye. Yep. Goodbye, guys.